Hello everyone and welcome back to Study Pickle. In today's video, we're going to be checking in with ourselves and how we've been doing these past few months since the semester has started. So grab a pen and paper and let's get right into this midterm check-in. It's really good to have a pen and paper for this because it allows you to really get specific about things instead of twiddling your thumbs imagining how you're going to do better. Writing it down makes your goals more concrete. The first two questions I ask are what's working and what's not working. And if I don't know how to answer these questions, sometimes I'll go through in my head what a normal day for me is like. And keep in mind, you can also write down basically anything, not just school related things, since you'd want to be in a good physical, mental or financial state. Those sort of things can really affect you in school if you don't take care of them. So what worked for me throughout this semester was definitely staying off my phone and this allowed me to give my undivided attention to doing homework. Also, splitting up my study material between the days that I plan to study made studying seem more doable and really helped me on my exams. And lastly, waking up early allowed me to have some time for myself instead of trying to squeeze in some me time throughout the day. And then what wasn't working for me this semester was the fact that I would constantly put stuff off until the last second. Another thing is I've only missed one day of my computer science class so far, but I was super lost the next day, so I'm going to try and not miss any more of those classes. The next thing you want to start asking yourself is what do I need to start doing? And this could be anything because again, your physical and mental health is correlated to how well you do in school. Maybe you want to practice mindfulness or maybe you just need to map out your study schedule better for finals. If you don't really have any ideas on how to improve, I have a video called Habits of Highly Successful College Students that gives you some really great advice on how to be a better student. And I recommend focusing on one thing at a time instead of trying to juggle multiple things. After that, write down some of the obstacles you might experience while trying to do that thing and write down ways to work around those obstacles. For example, if you said you needed to start procrastinating less, maybe one of your obstacles is that every time you get home, you're too tired to do any homework. So I guess a way you can work around that is you can try to do homework during other times in the day, either in the morning or maybe you have time in between classes. Or more specifically, whenever you come home from school and your roommate is already sitting on the couch watching TV, you get really tempted to sit down and watch with her. And you can work around that by just being honest with her. Let her know that you'd like to start procrastinating less and that if she could put off watching TV until after you've started homework, that that would help you out a lot. The more specific you get, the better equipped you will be to overcome those obstacles. Finally, count up all the points you have in your classes and try and figure out what grades you have. This really depends on the specific class because every professor grades and weighs everything differently. Sometimes you get lucky and your professor will put the grades into some sort of website like Blackboard, but sometimes you get one of those professors where you have no idea what grade you have in the class. If that's the case, I would actually talk to the professor to see where you're at in the class. But that's mainly it. Hopefully this helps you reflect on your semester and helps you get a feel for how you're doing in your classes. Personally, I feel like I'm doing better than previous semesters, but I also feel like I can do better. Anyway, enough about me. I'd like to know what you put down, so if you made it to the end of this video, leave a comment and let me know what you're going to start doing for the rest of the school term. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you're new to my channel, definitely subscribe and join the Pickle Gang. We are over 100 subscribers strong, and I love and appreciate you guys so much. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell to keep up to date on any new study tips that I have for the imperfect student like myself. Alright, thanks for joining me and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!